So, this video will be shorter because I'm wrapping up all of the main features that this Sonic um, will fe feature. So, first off, of course, as you might have known, uh, it is a universal remote control that controls, controls up to three different devices via infrared um, radio frequencies. That means anything with an infrared uh, remote, anything like an iPod dock perhaps, or an iMac computer like I am recording on right now, or a television set, Uverse, blah blah blah, it all is compatible with the Sonic itself, which has 13 different gestures. Uh, there's push, pull, uh, turn clockwise, anti-clockwise, up, down, left, right, tap on the top, tap on the bottom, left, and right. And that's quite a bit, um, so that lends itself to volume control, channel control, uh, even probably brightness setting on the computer if you uh, had the right controller. Now, um, this control mode has uh, two different versions. Uh, there's, a, there's a control mode, which is in itself uh, explanatory, uh, and then quiet control mode. Control mode is, uh, has uh, the sound effects each with each different gesture, with each 13 gestures. So there's 13 different sounds that this has in it uh, that are reactive to the button. There's a quiet control mode that has a very small click each time you uh, do a gesture and the light still lights up. Uh, uh, speaking of light up, the button on the slider, the little black looking button on the slider itself actually lights up red or green depending on the battery charge. Uh, also, there, okay, the, I think there are four different modes. There's uh, practice mode, which uh, allows you to practice and it has a voice feedback telling you which gesture you're doing. Uh, therefore, you could practice. There is a control mode, a quiet control mode. There is also uh, an FX mode. So there's actually more modes in this one than there was in the last one, if I'm correct in thinking this. Uh, FX mode has archived uh, BBC sound effects that we haven't seen since the 60s. I think 70s with John Hertwee. Please just murder me if I'm getting that wrong with the third doctor. Uh, in the Sea Devils episode, the scanning effect that he does on the minefield uh, is featured in the Sonic, so that's awesome. Uh, there are different scanning effects uh, seen throughout the episodes, uh, so therefore, like, all the archived sound effects uh, they could fit onto this, they did. Um, there is a secret feature uh, called the TV Be Gone, which, when pressed uh, three times held on the third, turns off, or on FX mode, turns off any television, regardless of programming it, uh, the remote. The holding, or pressing twice and holding on a second allows you to, in FX mode, choose different scanning effects. So you go doot doot, and then you tap on the top, it's a different sound that holds while you, that stays there while you hold the button. And each time you do a different gesture, it stays on that sound until you let go of the button itself. Um, let's see what else. There is um, there are all of the features that were featured on the last one, like the Morse code. Whenever left idle, the remote, after a certain length of time, will start beeping a Morse code message, and it has eleven different messages. It has a lot. It has quite a few. Um, and then they have like hidden meanings and messages and all that stuff. I don't know exactly what they are. You can find out for yourself. Um, it features a metal stand, a small Gallifreyan text stand uh, that is magnetic, actually. It, um, there is a particular spot on the stand that it stays completely straight on. It doesn't falter. It doesn't wobble, it stands completely straight up, whether extended or uh, retracted, which is an incredible feature. It's a very small little disc, very easy to take around. Uh, it kind of turns it into a display. Um, it comes with, obviously, a charger. It comes with uh, a box, a very nice box, I might add. Let's see if we can... You can see a little bit of it here, over there. Uh, in this box, um, and the thumbnail of this video will have 
uh, a picture of that box. It comes with a blueprint of the Sonic itself that actually details the different uh, materials. Here's a better picture of the box. Right there. Um, so all in all, whenever you buy it, you get the Sonic itself, you get the charger, you get the box, you get the stand, and then you get a blueprint of the Sonic, and then a um, uh, owner's manual, kind of a how-to guide thing to help you get to know how to use the screwdriver. So that's six items, all in one, for 110 Really good deal, I think. Uh, am I missing, any, missing anything, Bernie? Uh, let's see. Features, features, features. Uh, as far as I can tell, it is not uh, easily taken apart, so anyone who wants to mod this or um, mess with it at all uh, will have to do that very carefully. Now, uh, last things last, my uh, colleague Brody has his own channel on YouTube, which he has not uploaded any videos of yet. He made this channel because he was so infatuated with Minecraft and certain uh, players of Minecraft on YouTube that he wants to start his own channel doing this. Now, could you come on screen and tell them what it's called? It's called Silver Does Minecrable. Silver Does Minecrable. Silver, spelled how do you think it would, does mine, as in Minecraft, and then Crable, C-R-A-B-L-E. Um, just go there, check it out. He'll probably have a video up by tonight or uh, this week. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, any questions you have, leave them down in the comments. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.